Hello, and welcome to this session on navigating the Dataform interface. The Dataforms area is where users can search for, read, and possibly add, edit, or delete records. This session will describe the layout of the interface and how to navigate back and forth between the different Dataforms. The Dataforms can be accessed by clicking on the Dataforms button in the navigation window of the dashboard. The first item to discuss is that you may see an added button in the toolbar at the top of the screen labeled Visual Analysis. Visual analysis will be looked at in more depth in other training sessions, but this is an area where you can build link charts to show the relationships between linked records. Visibility and access to this button is a right that must be enabled by your prospective administrator. Below the toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen is the navigation pane. At the bottom of the navigation pane are a series of buttons that are associated with the other areas of perspective that you have access to, as discussed in the dashboard snippet navigating the interface. What is different about the navigation pane here is the information that is displayed above. At the top are a series of links that allow you to build and view different lists of records. These will be discussed in the data form snippet creating quick views. Below this are the list of data forms that you have access to. There are a total of seven possible data forms depending on your edition of perspective. Activities, incidents, and cases, as well as items, persons, organizations, and vehicles. Please note that access to these data forms is controlled by privileges that must be granted by your administrator. Also, the case data form is only available with the ICM and EIM editions of Perspective. Depending on your screen resolution, some of the data forms may be hidden. You can click and drag on the bar between the data form list and the buttons below to reveal more data form types if they are hidden. You'll notice this will minimize the buttons into a pin and note paper icon below. You can still hover your mouse over top to see what that button does and click on it to access that area of perspective. To access a data form, click on any one of the links. To the right is the listing pane. This window will display a list of records that you have access to. The view of records that is displayed in this window are controlled by the quick view, saved views, and all records links seen at the top of the navigation pane. As mentioned, these will be discussed in more detail in the data form snippet creating quick views. At the top of the listing pane, you will see the name of the data form that you currently have selected. To the right of the listing pane is the viewing pane. This window will display a blank data form associated with the data form type or the data that has been entered on an existing record if a record was selected from the listing pane. At a minimum, you will be able to read the record details on any record that you have access to. You may navigate within the record by clicking on the various tabs displayed near the top of the viewing pane. A scroll bar will appear on the right-hand side of the window if there is additional data below the current display. A yellow diamond will appear beside the name of the tab if any data has been entered on that tab or any of its sub-tabs. If an arrow appears next to the last tab seen in the viewing pane, there are additional tabs available than what is currently visible on screen. Click on the drop-down arrow to see a list of all of the tabs and click as needed to access them, or click on the left or right arrows to navigate back and forth between the tabs. Please note that the visibility and access of some of these tabs is controlled by rights that must be enabled by your administrator. Above these tabs is a toolbar that may allow you options to add, edit, delete, lock or unlock, print, merge, and send. Access to these buttons are controlled by a series of rights and privileges that are assigned by your administrator and are discussed in more detail in the data form snippet viewing pane toolbar. Above the toolbar, you'll notice the color scheme and icon will change depending on the data form type that you have selected. Also, again, depending on the screen resolution, if you have selected an existing record, you may also see the record number or name and basic details such as the call category, class, make model, etc. beside that data form icon. If you're currently adding or editing a record, you can navigate between the different data form types without having to save your current record, although it would be best practice to save regularly in the event you get pulled away from your computer. Saving does have to be done when navigating between different records of the same data form type. So, for example, if you, need to, you will need to save a new or open incident before navigating to a different incident record but you do not need to save if you move from an incident to a person record. You can navigate back and forth by clicking on the different data form types as needed. 
This concludes our training on navigating the Dataform interface. The next session, Quick Views, will demonstrate how to build and use the Quick View, Save Views, and All Records links.